A very good afternoon to you tuned in to UBC TV. Welcome to our lunchtime news. My name is Michael Jordan Lukomwa. In a first story, Prime Minister Dr. Hakan Rugunda has called upon leaders and the media to support government pass on accountability information to the citizens at the grassroots. This was at the Uganda Media Center where he addressed journalists at the officiation of the launch or where he officiated at the launch of the NRM Manifesto Week. The two weeks long activity that will involve different ministries account their achievements to the public will be held at the Prime Minister's office and we shall give you more to this report in our subsequent bulletins. Moving on, road tolls between Uganda and Tanzania have been criticized at the ongoing conference of stakeholders from the Central Corridor. With the tolls harmonized in Tanzania, Rwanda and Burundi, it is deemed discriminatory against Uganda. Onyango Jackson is in Tanzania and has a piece about this. Tanzania and Uganda are members of the Central Corridor, which brings together other three states, Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, including the larger East African community, Kenya, and South Sudan. The platforms are seeking to remove non-tariff barriers and harmonize road tolls on the entire region's road network. Tanzania, Rwanda, and Burundi harmonize the road tolls with about six US dollars charged for every 100 kilometers. Even in Rwanda formerly it was like that, but when Rwanda said we also charge you 500, then they agreed now the Rwanda and Burundi pay $150. $150. And we're also advocating that we need to have this harmonized so that maybe also for Ugandan trucks, we, we charge the same rate. However, Uganda, a member of the Central Corridor, is charged $500. The problem is the, the road user charge, which Tanzania charges on the trucks, foreign trucks, which you go to the Dar es Salaam to pick cargo where they charge us about $500, which is too high. And uh, when you look at it, you find that the transporters for Uganda are losing business. Because an importer or exporter in Uganda would rather use a Tanzanian uh, registered truck. Uh, some have even been forced to register Ugandan trucks in, in Tanzania to avoid, the, avoid that charge. Delegates are the 12 of the stakeholders' consultative meeting at the shores of Lake Tanganyika in Kegoma, Tanzania, one the inconsistency addressed only wants to monopolize their trucks to be moving. So we are expecting to be harmonized in order, in order to get smooth operations. The road tolls seem discriminatory in nature and slow business between Uganda and the rest of the Central Corridor partner states. Uh, to, to me, I would say, leave the way the, the regulation is because a person who travels from Uganda to Mutukula will pay very less because it's uh, six US dollars per 100 kilometers. So if you change five factor, don't you see this? Uh, uh, we, we, we all be in a disadvantage, disadvantage because the other side will be paying high and the other side will be paying. The business community around the border will suffer a lot. This is my opinion. So to me, I would say, let's leave the way the regulation is. You pay 6% per 100 kilometers. So a person comes from Uganda to Mutukula, which, of which now the, there is where the business is. Will you pay even, it won't reach even $20, $20 because it does not reach even uh, 300 kilometers. The matter is before all member countries to ensure that there is a total harmony on their roads. The uh, roads uh, uh, that cross the Mutukura uh, border, we took the matter, as I said, uh, seriously, and as we are talking now, uh, the matter is uh, being discussed at the ministerial level. So the two ministers, I mean the Minister of Transport in Tanzania and Uganda, have already engaged on the matter. And we hope that a decision will be made. Our role as the corridor was to raise the issue. Our role as the corridor was to share with the two countries how this practice is hindering, is denying Ugandans to do more trade along our corridor. The revitalization of the railway system connecting Dar es Salaam to Mwanza on an upgrade to standard gauge railway is the only hope for many expecting minimal convenience caused by the tolls on the roads. Onyango Jackson and Helen Barbara Jizamba, UBC TV. The Commission of Inquiry into Land Matters has an